The replicator enables you to do pretty much anything that you can imagine. If you can imagine it and you can design it on your computer or modify something that somebody else has designed, you can print it. Let's say that you wanted to make your own chess set. Yeah. Um, you can either start designing this from scratch in something like SketchUp, or you can download one of one of like the chess items that we have on Thingiverse.com and start printing that. Now let's say that you don't know how to do 3D design. That's fine. You can use any 3D design software out there. That plastic gets pulled by a motor that then deposit, then melts it down and deposits a layer of plastic on a built platform. Now the motor moves on an x-axis and a y-axis. And when it finishes off a layer, the built platform moves down one step in the z-axis. And then the motors move in x and y again to make another layer. It's a very, very precise hot glue gun. That's a really good way of looking at it. Yeah, it is. Do I need so, special software? Yeah, we make a piece of software called Replicator G. Okay. Um, it's actually an open source software, so we're one of the contributors to that software. Uh, and what that software does, it, it acts as an engine. It takes your 3D digital file and it slices it up into, into multiple layers, thousands of layers. And then it creates an instruction set that then this machine understands. That software is cross-compatible. It works on Mac, Windows, Linux. John, let's talk money here. Um, let's do that. You know, you guys, we all want to eat. We all paid for you can't eat plastic, unfortunately. tuition. At, yeah, you can't make your own food, right. right? Or make your own money. The single head extruder costs seventeen fifty, and by single head, I mean the ability to print with one filament of plastic at a time. But you can upgrade to the dual extruder. But wait. But wait. Get there's the, the dual. dual extruder. They can actually print with two filaments of plastic at the same time. Which is what we're looking at here. Mike. Yes. So you can have two colors being fused into one object. What are we talking about 2, for? 000. Two grand. Yes. And it comes pre-built. Well, actually, we've had an experimental version in the past called the Frost Truder. Ah, I like it. Yes. Why not, right? Yes, it, you push frosting through the extruder and you build up various concoctions of delightfully precise frosting. So cake boss, look out. That's right. Anything else that the world of YouTube needs to know about these uh, extruder computers, the replicator? You know, it's, it's amazing how much better this stuff has gotten over the last few years. We're really proud of our community. Really, like that's the heart and soul of our company. You look at Thingiverse.com and you see hundreds of users who are contributing new designs every day. Who make, create derivatives of other other people's designs. Do these ever break? Everything breaks. Let's eventually. be honest. Yeah, of course. I'm in a school, though. I mean, how often am I going to have to go inside and take that thing apart because something got? I mean, I can't really speak to how often you have to. Do that. Oh, by the way, I think this broke. Paper jam? No, oh, I just kicked the power supply and reset. Uh, I need to uh -huh. Sorry. I, no, just, no, I just asked the question. This print. And I'm, I'll post that one. I'm Come filming on. it's it. It's a printer jam. Well, we kicked the power on it, so. But that was the thing I was wondering about. Is I wanted to see what happens when things go wrong. This is hot. It's not nothing. <laughs> it's anything hot you can burn. Hot off the press. Ah! Hot? Yeah, that gets hot. That is hot. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why we've been using the plexi cases for the show. Once you've uh, sliced up the, the 3D object into into a file that this can understand, you put it on an SD card, ah. and then you plop it into the side. Okay. So we'll print a rook. All right. We're gonna print a rook. Yeah. As this heats up, when it heats up to, to the two numbers on the right, it'll uh, it'll start printing. No problem. So it's heating up, and then it'll start printing. One of these. Yeah. Up there. All right, cool. All right. Well, thank you for this uh, wonderful, uh, in insightful interview. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. Yeah. So I'm Bree Pettis. We're here at CES, and we are making things happen. Yeah, I'm seeing it. We just launched a new machine, the MakerBot Replicator, and there's three big things about this. Literally, you can make big things. This, we're to the point now where you make objects and you have to hold them in two hands, they're so big. The other thing is that we've got, now we can make things in, in two colors. So not, you, you know, this is just one material, this is PLA, but now you can make things, you can hold the whole world in your hand and have two colors at the same time. So this is pretty exciting. Can you hold the world up by your head? <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's a money shot right there. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how, ex how excited are you about the prospects of 2012? 40, 42. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good. Glad to have you over. Okay.
there's razors, you know, you, sh you shave and stuff. The makers don't shave, right? No. I've shaved with them, but... <laughs> yeah. What you do is you shave every now and then. Every few weeks That's right. So.